Hi everybody, I'm News 6 meteorologist Candace Campos. Uh, it's the first day of August and we are talking about two areas in the tropics. That is no surprise. One area is going to be affecting our local forecasts within the next few hours. Another one is one that we will be watching for the next week maybe two weeks. All right, let's talk about the first one highlighted in yellow there it has a low chance for potential development from the National Hurricane Center. This is a weak tropical wave. It's continuing to make its way closer towards the Florida coastline it will be our big rainmaker later on tonight into Friday and Saturday. Further out towards our east, we're watching another area that has a 70% chance, a high chance of potential development within the next five days. So let's talk about this tropical wave that is knocking on our doorstep. Friday and Saturday, rain chances are expected to be up to about 70%. Now with tropical rain, it's not an all day event. We have hit or miss showers. We have some peaks of sunshine out there. But the afternoon isn't just the only time where we see storms like a normal summer like day. So do expect off and on showers, rounds of rain, some tropical downpours could be possible and some areas that see kind of downpour after downpour is called training of storms could rack up between about two to even three inches of rainfall when this system is all set and done. It's expected to start. We're expecting to see some of that moisture creep in as early as a Thursday night. We are pinpointing though those rain chances going up from about a 50 to 60 percent chance today up to about a 70 to 80 percent for Friday and Saturday. So here's our clouds and rain forecast. You can see clouds pretty much enveloping most of the entire state of Florida. And then here comes those waves of rain by nine o'clock scattered showers. Some embedded thunderstorms will be possible and that will all track from the southeast towards northwest kind of in that wave like um, kind of pattern we tend to see with tropical systems. This is not a very organized um, area so we are expecting just scattered showers mostly cloudy skies kind of a, just a mess of a day on friday and that could linger into parts of saturday but already starting to see a few peaks of sunshine there throughout let's say osceola county so that is kind of a, a little hint that we might be on the drier side of things or transitioning back into a more typical summertime pattern by saturday afternoon. Now looking at that next area that I said we're going to be watching probably for the next uh, week and a half to two weeks. It's out there. It has a 20% chance of development within the next two days, but a higher chance within the next week. And that's because it's going to slowly move into a, an area that has a lower wind shear, a lot of moisture, a lot of available uh, instability. That's that potential development zone you see there. In, um, in red and the computer models are showing that it is going to kind of stay on that westerly track towards the Leeward Islands into the Caribbean and that's five days out. So again, we have plenty of time to watch this, but it's that time of the year. August, September, we start seeing uh, these more impressive storms on satellite feeding, kind of rolling off the coast of Africa, hitting those warm waters of the Atlantic. It's been warm for a few months now through summer, so it's really starting to heat things up and we tend to kind of see those uh, steam engines that we are also known as hurricanes start to really develop. Planning out your forecast over the next seven days, you can see temperatures will stay pretty cool tomorrow, all thanks to cloud cover and rain. 87 will be our high today, though, near average, a pretty typical day. We are watching scattered showers on the coast, more of inland thunderstorms expected later on today. Stay dry out there, folks.